Hey, John, welcome. Thank you. I'll take the kind of obvious question with some of your background. What was it like growing up watching your dad go against the Giants, going against Michael Strahan? Yeah, uh, dad played for the Eagles for nine years. Uh, grew up in South Jersey. I kind of understand the whole NFC East rivalry between all these teams here, and it's just some tough, gritty football. And watching my dad and uh, Michael go at it uh, twice a year was always fun. Growing up, staying up late, watching that battle go down on Monday night and Sunday night football, and uh, I'm just I'm just happy to be part of it. Uh, it was really a really special part of my childhood, and I'm excited to go forward. You know implement my own story going forward. As far as yourself, I know you play both sides. Are you more comfortable on the left or the right? Um, I, I mean, I've kind of split both sides, left and right, my whole career. I mean, I think if I were to choose, I probably would say left. But I mean, I feel comfortable at both sides of the ball. And it doesn't really matter. In my whole career, I just always wanted to get on the field and stay on the field and you know play football. And that's what I'm here to do. Gotcha. Thanks. Yep. Brian Dunleavy. Hey, John, thanks for doing this. Of course. Uh, can you take us through the process of how you ended up with the Giants? Like, did you feel like you had a lot of offers? Did you did the Giants call you, like, you know, right at noon, or call your agent, like, right at noon? Like, how did that happen? Um, we kind of had, a like, an inclination early on, like, in the process of gathering information. Uh, kind of got, like, a handful of teams that were showing a lot of interest early on, and kind of felt like the Giants were definitely at the top of the list. And uh, as things went on and uh, Monday morning at noon came along, the Giants and a couple other teams were early to throw throw offers in. And I was really excited that the Giants really proved to me that they liked me a lot. And um, being close to home too, I, I live, my home base is just about an hour and a half away from here. So being able to do that, being in New York, um, you know, great, Great football city, and uh, just, I'm just so excited to be here. Uh, really excited to be a Giant. Kind of like Philadelphia, the offensive line with New York. It's not a place under offensive linemen fly under the radar. There's a lot of attention paid to the offensive line in New York, probably because when they were winning Super Bowls, it was great. And in the last 10 years, they haven't been able to figure it out. So. How do you accept that challenge of offensive linemen getting a lot of attention here, and how confident are you that you you can be a piece to finally fix it? And uh, you know, Jermaine too, obviously. Definitely, uh, I, I've only watched so much from the outside. I, I don't really know uh, everything that's going on here, but I'm just coming in, you know, a hard work and great attitude, and try to fit in here and mesh with these guys. And you know, I think we got some really good pieces around here, and. Um, it's going to take a little bit. It's only March um, training camps, however many months away. But uh, I'm excited to get to work with these guys, get to know them. And uh, I feel like we've got a good group of guys. And uh, we'll be ready uh, by the time the season comes around. And um, I think we'll start really building that, that toughness and the edge that, you know, like you guys have been said, it's kind of been missing on this O-line for 10 years. And uh, that's the direction that this team's got to go. It's got to start up front with this O-line. And uh, we're, we're really going to uh, carry that on our backs. Thank you, John. Yeah, thank you. Kim Jones. Hey, John, how are you? Congratulations. I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Excited to be here. I'm old enough that I remember your dad's battles with Michael Strahan. Yeah. Um, and I believe Michael wished you well publicly on, on I guess, Twitter or, or one of the uh, avenues. Uh, what, what does that kind of relationship that your dad had with him you know and now Michael's the one reaching out as well to, to congratulate you mean to you yeah it, it's it's awesome um, my dad and Michael even though that on the field they were bitter bitter rivals after the game I I remember it for years and years and um, every year Michael would always be waiting uh, outside the team bus and he and my dad had always chatted up after the games and I'd be standing right there and um, you know, obviously at the time I was a big Eagles fan and uh, I was always a huge fan of Michael, even though uh, he and my dad had uh, such such hard and physical battles uh, throughout the years. But um, it's really awesome. Uh, kind of feels like it's coming full circle and everything. I remember 
uh, Michael being generous enough to invite me and my family to his uh, Hall of Fame induction in Canton. And that was really special, too. And I, I know Michael's laughing and uh, feels like he's got a leg up on my dad that he was able to pull me over here to the Giants. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really awesome moment. And uh, I'm sure Michael's given my dad you know, a lot of stuff for that. But um, I'm so fired up to be here and be a Giant and be over here in New York. I really appreciate that answer. Have you heard from Michael since you were drafted, like personally? I haven't heard from him personally, but okay. I know he does have communication with my dad. So, uh, okay. yeah, they, I'm sure they talk a lot. Not not directly to me, but I know they do. I got you. Thank you, John, yeah. very much. I look forward to talking to you in the locker room. Thank you. Thank you. Patty Trina. Hi, John. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good. Thank you for asking. John, I'm also old enough to remember your, ba your dad's battles with uh, Michael Strahan. And I'm just wondering, you know, the game has changed somewhat since your dad played. What lessons have you learned from your father that you have taken forth in your own career and how have they played out for you? Yeah, um, my dad played 14 years in the NFL and that's uh, rarely missed the game in his career and that's not really by mistake. He's kind of over the years instilled a like a work ethic and attitude and you know just this sense of toughness that you're going to be out there and you're, you're going to play for your team and um, that's how I felt about playing football my whole career, going back to Michigan and being with the Packers and coming here. I, I haven't missed a game uh, in my professional career, and that's something I take a lot of pride in, my, my versatility, my dependability, and that's what I'm excited to come here and bring to New York. Did you also, um, at, at high school or college at any point in your life, did you wrestle or do anything like to improve balance or, or you know, help you with offensive line play? That, that is one thing that I did not do, but I wish I did. I wish growing up I would have did a little bit of wrestling in high school. But other than that, uh, I played basketball a lot. That was one sport that my family really pushed me to play, uh, me and my sisters to play basketball, because I feel like that's a great uh, kind of game to transition to offensive line play with all the sudden quick movements, and especially like that for a big guy playing footwork. So. That was definitely something I wish I did. I wish I wrestled, but I was more of a basketball player growing up. Thank you, John, and good luck to you. Yeah, thank you very much. We'll take two more, Art Stapleton and then Tom Canavan. Hey, John, welcome. Thank you very much. So, so much is made about the Giants-Eagles rivalry. You mentioned, obviously, you've been on that one, you know, that one part of it. But did it ever get to the, the point where, you know, when these – couple teams were interested in you that you looked at it and the did the Giants ever get a mark against or you, did you ever think about what it'd be like to play for the Giants because you were such you know devote you had such devotion to the Eagles um that's a good question I mean not really I mean growing up I obviously was an Eagles fan for a long time but that obviously went away once I started you know understanding that there was potential of me being able to you know play in the NFL and then got drafted by the Packers in 2020. So from there on out, uh, I no longer have any Eagles fandom in my body at all. And uh, I'm excited to be here in New York and there was no marks against any team. And I just wanted to go to a place that I felt like I was wanted and uh, appreciated. And I found that in New York and I'm gonna try to, you know, give back to them and give them my all out there, you know, every Sunday. Have you had a chance to speak yet with uh, Carmen Brasillo? I did. Who line coach here what's your impressions early on and did you, did you have any previous relationship with him I did um met him in the hallway real quickly uh before this and uh me and him have kind of a funny history uh back in 2019 he was with the Patriots and he came to Michigan and I was with my buddy Mike on Wainu and we were sitting there, they were running us through a meeting before our pro day, and as soon as that meeting was over, he let us know that our pro day got canceled because there was this thing called COVID-19 going around. So wow. that was a kind of like where were you moment when you found, when you found out about that. So um, it, was, it was good to see him again and uh, excited to get to work with him and the rest of the guys in the room. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Last one, Tom Canavan. Hey, John. How you doing? I'm doing well, Tom. How are you? Good. I'm not as old as Kim or, or Patty, so you don't have to worry about me yeah. talking about stray in. Um, quick question, though. I mean, was there any hesitation about coming to a team that gave up 85 sacks last year? 
No, there, there's no hesitation in that. There, there's not much I can do to, you know, change uh, what's happened in the past. I'm, I'm kind of just focused on going forward on here and, you know, building this team and this unit. Um, uh, you know, Daniel Jones, when he's on his feet and he's healthy, he's a he's a dangerous quarterback, and I think he showed that two years ago. So. Um, keeping him on his feet and healthy, getting his run game going, and that's going to start up front. And I think that's a really big responsibility uh, that you have is you know when you decide to play the offensive line position. So we're going to take a lot of pride in that. We're going to we're going to work hard every day and uh, just try to get better and do whatever we can to make this giant team go forward and you know win the NFC East. And that, that's our goal again in the playoffs.